What's going on everybody? It is your boy. I'm here for another tag video. This is Jumpstart January 2016. This tag video is titled YouTuber Confessions Tag. And this is uh, 13 questions. I have not read these and I'm just going to jump right into them. Alright, how many hours a week do you spend film, uh, I guess, oh no, I'm sorry, filming and editing? Um, okay. Well, one, I did step up uh, my YouTube game as of uh, recent. And um, in terms of filming, honestly, a lot of the shows that I do are reality shows. Some are scripted. And, like, in general, it's the, uh, like, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, Workout New York has been added. Uh, the Love of Hip Hop New York's, like, well, Love and Hip Hops, those are the main ones. So between those three shows, I'm going to say I probably film four to five hours a week in general. But I have now started out vlogging where uh, at a minimum I at least do like a weekly vlog. Where, and that's like Monday through Friday. And if I have a lot do going on on Saturday and Sunday, then I'll do a vlog of those days. So... I guess I can say maybe 72 hours, maybe, of uh, actual filming. And in reference to editing, a lot of the uh, reality shows that I record, I watch and on the commercial breaks I actually record. So it actually makes it a lot easier unless I recall myself saying or doing something crazy in the video and then I want to add something into it and that requires a little bit more. But I'll say for like an hour, uh, like if I record, if I uh, did a review of something, let's just say it's 30 minutes, the editing is probably actually anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. The editing is probably five to 15 minutes. I'm I am not going to lie. It's probably five to 15 minutes because more often than not, if I'm recording something, I already have an idea, of, even regardless of what I see on TV of what I'm going to do. Uh, this year, I'm actually going to give you guys more uh, theatrics. Like I said, I do. I don't have a. When I say uh, I do have a background in theater, not necessarily a college degree, but I've done theater when I was in high school. I've done a lot of stuff relative to the arts. And when you guys watch me, I'm pretty sure y'all get the theatrics. So I am going to give you guys a little bit more of uh, the theatrics. I am going to show you guys my other personalities. You guys will probably get introduced to those other personalities later on this year. And I will try my best to incorporate those personalities into my reviews and other things that I do. And like I said, with the uh, vlogs, you guys just get to see, like I said, the whole purpose of me doing the vlogs is I don't, I feel that I don't give you guys the opportunity to like really see me for my, for who I am with my life. And that's mostly because again, for by virtue of what I do, I can't really show you guys a lot of what I do because I'm in uniform and I don't want, I hear this thing, I want some real shit. A motherfucker is trying to lose his job. So I want to try to show you as much as possible. So with these vlogs, it's going to give you a chance to see me behind the scenes. And of course, I'm going to do my best to edit, pick and choose the best stuff. Because I don't want to sit here and just have y'all listen to me babble on. But at the same exact time, I try my best not to come on camera and not have anything to talk about. Try to come on camera and have something to talk about. And I've been stuck on this one-up question. Let me move the fuck on because I've been babbling. There you go. What kind of camera do you use to film? Uh, a couple of different cameras uh, for a lot of the um, high like definition stuff like right now give me a second it is the Canon SX50 space HS so that's pretty much the camera that I'm using right now um, if I'm doing like uh, my periscopes or yeah, more or less my periscopes. I'm either using my uh, iPhone 6 or I'm probably using my iPad. And if I'm vlogging, I'm using my iPhone 5. So that kind of just gives you an idea. Yes, everything over in this motherfucker is Apple. And when I'm blabbing, I'm using my MacBook Pro. So that just lets you know a mo majority of the shit over here is Apple. Apple everything, baby. But those are the uh, uh, items that I use to record stuff. Um, why do you vlog? <laughs> well, I just started vlogging, but I just told you guys, it's just to kind of like, I guess, let you guys just be a little bit more intimate with me and let y'all just see more of uh, my day to day. 
because like I said I want to be trans I want to be as transparent with you guys as possible and I, I do feel that even in those most intimate now mind you y'all ain't finna see air motherfucking thing now nah. <laughs> but I want in those more intimate moments and you know how sometimes where you know it just at like a random point you'll get like a inspiration and there are moments where God will sit here and deliver a message to me and you know even though I know it's for me it might be for somebody else like in those moments like capture those moments but in terms of me vlogging it's just you know so you guys just can connect with me just on another level and on a deeper level so you because i know some people are on the sh uh, come to my channel for cooking review or like cooking tutorials product reviews whatever the case may be but i know there are some people that come on here because they just really want to get to know who you know tea spilling is or better yet, who y'all real is at the core so that's why i'm vlogging Oh, I'm going to start. Well, actually, I've already started vlogging, so there you go. Uh, next question. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Goodness gracious, I wish I was in my computer right now so I can, like, go down my uh, subscription list. And hopefully when I name off some of these names, if I miss anybody, I'm sorry. And hopefully no one gets offended if I don't mention their name. I really, really hope they don't. Um, but um, Socialize Sandy... Uh, both her uh, socialized Sandy channel and her uh, daily vlog with her and Juice, I love them. I I love their dynamics as a couple. Um, I just got put on Life with Us TV because I know they were doing. I think it was random TV reviews. That's actually how I I got hooked on them because I had looked up who else was doing Real Housewives of Atlanta reviews and I saw them and I enjoyed them and then I found out from uh them commenting on my videos that they actually have a vlog i was just like oh fuck i am behind but i lo i love their dynamic i do um of course if i'm going to talk about my crew lady nika i talk about my sister enough so y'all already know what it is but that's my sister and anybody who don't know don't come over here fucking with me because i'm telling you she will get your ass together and if she know where the fuck you stay she gonna fuck your ass up but lady nika sean bradley cool motherfucker um james colwell motherfucking capricorn baby um tiki 44 um who else? Uh, the Ghetto View. I like watching her. I really do. She, like I said, she is crazy, and I like when she does her, uh, like when she does her videos with her sister on the phone. Y'all need to get on Blab. You and your sister need to get on Blab. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, who else? Oh. Squeak. Oh my gosh, Squeaky. Squeaky. Love me some Squeak, especially when she when she up in your face, baby. When she's sitting here, get you, give you, and then the and then the whole natural hair. Y'all know how I feel about natural hair. Like I love natural black hair. Love that sister. Um, let me see. Forest rocks. I like Forest rocks. Like I said, she you know brings the comedy and whatnot. And again, you can't tell me she not put together when she comes on camera. She actually uh, did some um, videos while she was with her uh, in-laws and whatnot. Well, actually, not her in-laws, but her family. And even though she was just natural, stunning, phenomenal beauty. Uh, who? Oh my gosh, she was. I really don't want to leave out anybody. You got like if you guys haven't heard me talk about Callie Butterfly, I like watching her because I swear she is like a very cool, calm spirit. I love Callie Butterfly. Um, and Alexander, well, the last two, Alexander Rogers and Much Love and KY. Alexander Rogers, I'm telling you, he, he'll fucking review some shit that I don't even fucking watch, but I watch the shit because when I say his reads are effort less they are smooth they are fucking on point you know how some people read but you know they asses are trying and they tr he don't try he don't try mother come off the cuff with that shit i fucking love watching him and much love look y'all she will bury a motherfucker i've seen her bury a motherfucker on damn ig i but I love much love and again she is so fucking humble to have over 40,000 subscribers and again she you know let me get on a, bla on a blab that she was doing and even jumped on one that I was doing like yeah good shit man good shit love it alright <laughs> moving on to the next question it's gonna be a long video for no damn reason 
Do you monetize your videos? I do. I actually started monetizing back in October. My sister, you know, lady was just like, you better go ahead and get your coins. Because <laughs> honestly, I didn't come to YouTube to make money. It was honestly to have the ability to be Yarell. Because again, my normal day to day, I'm not Yarell. And by the time I get back, get to, you, you know, get to my room, done with work, the only time I get to be y'all real is just enough time to, you know, fix myself some dinner, you know, get cleaned up and go to bed and start all over again. So, but, you know, like I said, I began doing that. And like I said, I have, I'm doing my damnedest to brand myself. So I do monetize my videos. And like I said, it doesn't hurt, you know, add a little bit of gas money in my pocket. I'm just saying, you know, even though gas ain't high, but still a little bit of gas money don't hurt. <laughs> Um, what's one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year? Um, I have a trip coming up. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be very vague about it, but I have a trip coming up. I'll be going, uh, to a certain location with a couple of other YouTubers. I know some of y'all is like, what? And the whole, only reason why I'm being secretive is because, um, it's, it's, it's a vacation, you know, and, and it's one of those when we finally make it to that destination, we'll let everybody know then, but it's just, you know time for us to get away and you know link up connect the whole nine so that is actually something that i am truly looking forward to that and also turning 30 because i i plan on being 190 pounds at a minimum by december 23rd 2016 hit y'all asses with that motherfucking dirt at 30 on that ass so i'm definitely looking forward to that um what's your most awkward filming moment Honestly, is when I noticed that my tongue has a mind of its own. Honestly, I did not notice that until I actually started recording uh, videos. And I watched and she's like, why does my tongue do all of that shit? Like, that shit is awkward as fuck. But <laughs> my tongue is an entity all itself. And hey, I might be the breakout. I might be the star of this channel. But my tongue is the breakout star. I'm just saying. Um what are your goals for your channel um again it's really creating branding but ultimately with this channel with everything that i do if someone can just like learn or you know like get some insight on something or i talk about something that helps add value to someone's life that right there is all that i need honestly because i've gone through my share of shit <clears throat> and i I believe that you know a lot of times we go through things in our lives and so often we like keep those lesson learned to ourselves and more often than not when we go through certain things you know we don't go through it just for ourselves but we go through it for other people and a lot of times when we keep those lesson learned to ourselves you know we're actually stopping ourselves from blessing someone else and of course when we bless someone else we also bless ourselves so hopefully from my life experience or just what i'm doing a review like even when i do reality show reviews like if you're really paying attention i'm throwing nuggets of wisdom out there you know so hopefully people can gather just a little bit of something from the videos that i do and hopefully it can help them in their everyday and their day-to-day -day, so um what are your favorite type of videos to make any video where i'm just acting a complete and utter fucking fool honestly because i like having a good time i like being goofy because like that is i think that's one of my uh i think this is one of the good things about me is that i just i know how to cut the fuck i just love being animated i am very animated so whenever i get on camera and just become animated i think those are my best videos now and uh, my sister lady Nika tell it my best videos are those when I'm fucking in my feelings angry as shit and I'm just giving you nothing but venom and any and everybody can get it <laughs> I'm just saying okay um what makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you honestly it's just well, here's the thing. You guys are my family. It was di it was difficult in the beginning. I'm not going to lie because it was like something new. You know, like it was a new experience. But from all the videos that I've done, because I've done over 300 videos at this point, And 
especially with the uh, personal videos to have people be like oh my gosh i understand or i've been there or thank you so much for speaking about this it's like when i like i don't call y'all my subscribers i don't call y'all that because i don't like that you guys are tea spillers because i am tea spilling you know we all do the same thing we spill tea you know with each other we fill it because it's chub our cups runneth over you know we are family that is what we are and it's easy for me to talk to y'all especially because everybody over here y'all already know i'm not about the judgment i'm not about the labels and none of us are like that so we all can come together so when i'm talking to y'all and that's just I'm really talking to myself, but I'm talking to family. I'm talking to friends. So I think that's what really makes this easy than anything, you know, and I know in the very beginning, you know, I'll blow the vape, which I brought that back and I will typically drink. I do that seldomly because like, y'all know I'm trying to, you know, focus on my weight. I'm drinking now, but that ain't the point. <laughs> But, you know, even then, I didn't use that for the comfort. It was just one of the ways it's like that was like something that I did. But more often than not, you at least see me drinking something. And I'm bringing the vape back. Just saying. Um, let me see. Do you or will you allow your kids to be in your videos? I don't have kids, but uh, no. I, I, I won't do that. And it's only because when you are on a viral video that makes you susceptible to whatever criticism may come and it's one of the things where even though i don't have kids in general i'm protective of those that i'm responsible for and god forbid i have kids and somebody say the wrong damn thing on youtube i'm that motherfucker where i will try to find your damn ip address come find your ass and literally get put my ass in jail but knowing that i done sat here and knocked your ass move the fuck out and i didn't let me stop because i'm about to make myself more crazy than what i am no no because it's one of those things where it's just like i don't want that to happen and you know like i said it's just, like even if it's their choice now if my children are in their mid to late teens and they decide they want to be on camera that is one thing but if they have not reached the age of 13 you will not be on camera because god forbid somebody say the wrong damn thing because it's, it's a it's a it's only so many things that will make me come out of pocket i get a damn to you that is one of them um is your spouse supportive of your youtube channel i don't have a spouse so there's that share one tip for someone just started out on youtube um i have a couple of tips like if you're really trying to get into it i mean i would say follow trends and if you see something popping off that works for you then do it like honestly i didn't start like okay when i the only, like actually i mostly watch youtube for music videos and i had i was uh in korea i was looking for you know the real housewives and love hip-hop and everything else the first video that i stumbled upon was socialized sandy and she did a review of uh the nico and uh, mimi sex tape and i found so much comedy in that and then i saw other people doing reviews and i'm just like i didn't know people did this on youtube like i really didn't know i did not fucking know like this is a whole brand a whole new world opened up to me on youtube like i didn't fucking know so i mean it started with that and it, you know even with the reality shows that i watch and i will watch them you know at work sometimes i know that's bad and people would ask me like what's this what's that and i will be very candid about my opinions i'm just like well fuck if everybody else is just getting on camera talking about what they saw on camera I can do the same shit too and of course i picked videos that other people that i knew people were watching but at the same exact time those were shows that i were doing but even if you don't now i will say that right there will bring you the views and bring people to your channel but ultimately i would say be you again that's my shit be you 365 days of the year be honest be genuine you know because even if you're just starting out and you don't have any subscribers, you have one, you have two, you only get a couple views here and there. It's the honest beginnings that when you finally get to, you know, a certain uh, platform in the plateau that you will be so uh, grateful. But the main thing is be genuine and be yourself. Because here's the thing, people can see through the fake shit, they can see through the phony shit. And, if, and people can see that you're just doing a video because, okay, well, this is what's hot right now. So I'm just doing a video because I want the views, you know what I'm saying? So people can see through that. So just be genuine and be honest. All right, I haven't talked enough. I'm almost at 20 minutes, you guys. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. If you have not done this video, go ahead and do it. And I will see you guys on the next video.
Peace.